Hi Anobis, you know what I love doing? I love inhaling stuff and getting abilities of said stuff. For example, I was playing Super Nintendo on the Super Nintendo, and I was like, I wish tennis was real. And so then, I ate my Super Nintendo, and I became the only Super Tennis player in real life. But then after I did that, I've been seeing like tennis courts and tennis players all over the place. These fakers want to be me so bad for some reason, I don't get it, I never saw tennis before. So, you're welcome for making tennis real, I guess. But do you know where I got the idea of copying abilities from? It came from Kirby's Adventure, the first game where Kirby can copy abilities. It made Kirby how good it is today. And if Kirby didn't have copy abilities, I for one would probably explode. Because Kirby Superstar would not have existed, and I would have nothing to call an ass game. Well, except Splatoon 3, I guess, but that's not as fun to make fun of as Kirby uh, Superstar. You're probably like, Galaxia, shut the fuck up. Good to actually talking about Kirby's adventure and why you like it or something. And you know what I have to say to that? Uh, yeah, I, I guess you're kind of right. I I'll do that. Okay, the game starts off with a how to draw Kirby tutorial. First you draw a circle and then you dot the eyes and then you add a great big smile and then presto, it's Kirby. But they don't know how to draw Kirby correctly. They forgot the limbs. They forgot to talk about the limbs and the nubby arms and the legs. They forgot the how to draw Kirby. I mean, they put it in there when they're drawing. I'm like, but you gotta tell them how to draw that. How is my five-year-old niece gonna know how to draw Kirby if she can't even tell where to put the limbs at? Hell laboratories. Hell laboratories. You, you messed up. You messed up big time on this. I think I don't think I like this game anymore. Zero out of ten video game. I hate it. Worst game ever. I think I'd rather play Nightmare in Dreamland. All jokes aside, the story starts with King Diddy stealing the Star Rod, and he broke it into pieces to give it to all of his friends. Yes, guys, King Diddy has friends. And so Kirby has to go find the pieces and repair the Star Rod to bring dreams back to Dreamland. How do you repair the Star Rod? Probably with, like, flex seal or tape? Does Kirby flex seal the Star Rod back together? I don't know. But what I do know is, is that Dreamland needs to get their shit together, because this is the second time King Diddy stole stuff from them. Oh yeah, I guess you can call Dreamland just land now because there's no more dreams. <laughs> clapping sounds, clacking sounds, and clapping sounds. Uh, just, just yeah, just more clapping sounds. Come on, come on, give it. So Kirby has to travel through a variety of worlds. One being Green Greens, uh, sorry, Vegetable Valley. There's Ice Cream Island, everyone's favorite world, Butter Building. There's Grape Garden and Yogurt Yard. And sadly, there's Orange Ocean. It's pretty and stuff, but I just hate water levels. And lastly, there's Rainbow Resort. Each world has their own type of style, and it's crazy because it's on the NES. Like, you wouldn't expect each world to look vastly different. Um, but Butter Building especially has this tower when you go on, it spins. And it's crazy how they got that working on the NES. I would expect nothing less from the Kirby developers. They are amazing. Alright, the main focus, the copy abilities. In this game, they are weird because you have burning and fire as different abilities. And it's kind of funny because actually, burning being 100% better than fire in every single way. And if you don't think so, you're wrong because I'm kind of biased because burning is the only one I personally like to use because I keep getting hit every time I try any other ability and burning is like the only one I could use fully because every other ability sucks except like tornado and sword. It kinda, it's kind of sad because there's a lot of abilities in the game and I want to like most of them. I like high jump. That's like four out of the 20 something that they have. And it's just kind of sad. I, I don't want to not like them. I just don't like them. They're all just kind of boring. I, I don't know. I mean, it's the first game with copy abilities. It's, it's gonna happen. And in each world, Kirby will have to fight a boss. I love to talk about the characters, so I will talk about each boss. The first boss we have, my goat, Wispy Woods. He returns. He's back. I love Whiskey Woods. He throws apples at you. Hardest boss ever. I don't know of any other boss that is as hard as Wispy Woods. I love Wispy Woods. Paint Roller is actually a really cool boss. There's four different painting canvases on each side, and he'll go to eat whatever one randomly, and he will draw a little painting, and then he'll be like, haha, I'm actually at a line. JK, that doesn't happen. But he draws a little painting, and he shoots it at Kirby, and it could be like a car, a parasail, some of, some of the things you can copy, some of the things you can't, and you just shoot him back at it. Is, did I just make an anime, anime reference? Yeah, that was an anime reference. Anyways, the boss is pretty cool. It's a cool boss. It's simple, but I like it. It's cool. It's fun. 
I don't even want to talk about this boss. Okay, so Mr. Shine and Mr. Bright. Their fight is absolute garbage. I would never want to fight them again. Maybe it's because I didn't have a copy ability. I really think it's a major skill issue. But their boss is garbage. I wish Marks would make them fight again because they deserve it because they suck so bad. Did, did I just did I just make a Kirby Superstar reference? I think I'm gonna jump off Butter Building. Wait a minute, Cracko returns, and they even do something cool with him where you use the high jump ability and you ha get chased by him, and it's fun because you, I get to use high jump, and it's actually fun to use high jump. But the bosses, other bosses except Cracko, suck with high jump. So good on Hell Lavatories for not making another Mr. Shine and Mr. Bright. I love you, Hell Lavatories. Okay, you guys might not think I don't like this boss, but I actually kind of do. Heavy Mole is a auto side-scrolling boss, which you think it would be pretty bad, but it's it's not really that bad. It's not as bad as Mr. Shine and Mr. Bright. Um, it can be a little confusing, but when you use one and a half brain cells, it's not that bad. Um, he's not a mole, though. He's not a mole, but he's heavy because he's made out of metal, but he's, he's no mole, so, so that's a point off, I guess. The last boss stopping you from getting to that there King Dedede is Meta Knight. My favorite boss, except with Spewoods, because he just gives you a sword. How nice of that guy! It feels a lot more intense having a sword battle, but it's short-lived, because you just destroy this guy's health bar if you go in guns blazing. You hit him, and his mask falls off when you hit his final hit, and... Oh my god, is that Kirby from Super Smash Bros? Is, th is that Dark Kirby from, from Super Smash Bros? Super Smash Bros reference? I cannot believe this right now. Um, it's come to my attention that 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 wasn't Kirby from a uh, from Super Smash Bros. Um, it it seems like that was a that was a Meta Knight costume. Uh, I would like to formally apologize uh to the Kirby community and myself because I'm part of the Kirby community for making that joke. Uh, it probably it probably wasn't that funny. I've learned from my past mistakes. I will you'll see a video later with me singing on a guitar. Uh, my apology video and uh. I, I apologize. Uh, I will learn how to play the guitar. Glad I got that out of the way. Uh, so when you finally get the King Dedede, bro is so angry birds. He wants all the dreams for himself. How greedy! So we have to kill this man. And after a while of being King Dedede, Kirby gets all the Star Rod pieces and repairs them with Flex Seal. And then tries to go to the Dream Fountain. But then, King Dedede starts begging Kirby not to put the Star Rod into the Fountain of Dreams. Kind of like F-Zero fans when they ask for a new game but get a Battle Royale instead. Kirby is like, no King Dedede, I'm not giving you the Star Rod. You can't dream. I hate you, King Dedede. So then Kirby puts it back into the Dream Fountain. But then, a weird ball appears. And they both start freaking out. Kirby gets inside of King Dedede's mouth, ill, and then gets shot up to the air. After getting shot to the air, it's you versus this weird star ball thing. The game doesn't tell you this, but you're kinda on a time limit, so no more baby game for you. You gotta do it a little bit faster, so you can't play your baby game at your own pace anymore. You actually gotta try in my Kirby game. I don't wanna try, Nintendo, why do you do this to me? But you get the power to shoot stars with your star rod, so you shoot stars at a star ball in the stars. And once you're able to get him down with the stars, you are able to get him to flee to the moon, or you gotta go fight him at the moon! Apparently he isn't a star ball. When you get to the moon, his name is Nightmare. So you're telling me there's a nightmare in Dreamland. <laughs> uh, also, that final boss song hits you like a truck. And not like a Kirby Forgotten Land truck, just a normal truck. It's a really good song. You once again have to use the Star Rod powers to get rid of this guy. But he can be really hard to hit because he teleports every five seconds. Like, bro is on six five-hour energies or something, I don't know. He's still easier than Mr. Shine and Mr. Bright. Just a bit complicated if you don't know what you're doing, which I usually don't. Once you knock him out, though, he blows up the moon, but only a part of it, so it's okay. And then Kirby saves the day and restores Dream to Dreamland, so it's actually called Dreamland now. Wait a minute, King DDD was a good guy this whole time? Why didn't he say anything? He's such an idiot! I love him, but he's an idiot. He could have been like, yo Kirby, there's an evil guy in the Dream Fountain, instead of like... You know, stealing the Dream Rod. Did I just call the Dream Rod? So Kirby can finally go home and sleep. What a great reward. I hope I never have a nightmare in Dreamland. That would be a super unfortunate and unfun. Yeah, Kirby's adventure packs a lot of personality and a bit of storytelling. For an NES game, it's pretty fantastic. 
And if you're gonna play it, I would play the 3DS version. It's way better on the 3DS. I don't think you can download it now, but a wise person once told me, it's really easy to mod your 3DS. Uh, I would totally not recommend it. It's totally illegal and so bad. Don't do it. It's so awful. I would never search up how to mod your 3DS on YouTube. Okay, bye Anobis!